Yan Wang joins me now to discuss China's college entrance exam. She's director at the Chinese Society of Educational Development Strategy. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, thank you. Well, you Can are you there. Me? You're there in Beijing. Describe what you've been seeing, what you've been hearing the last day or two. Is the mood any different than previous years with students taking the Gaokao? Well, actually, this is the uh, offline uh, test uh, since the outbreak of COVID-19. And, uh, well, uh, I my observation is that uh, uh, this is the most critical uh, time for many students and their uh, families because uh, this uh, uh, high-stakes examination will uh, have a great impact on their life. And... Uh, the uh, this uh, uh, time has really uh, uh, proved that the student-centered education system in China, uh, as uh, all the stakeholders, including governments, parents, and the schools and teachers, they they have uh, dedicated to supporting students for the success or performance in their examination. And uh, for example, uh, they. Ministry of Education has offered 10 tips on um, how to perform well at the test, uh, including the itinerary planning, dressing, and uh, code of conduct, and even health care, etc. And uh, also the, uh, the uh, public uh, security authority and the public transportation authority, uh, all this related, uh, and also health care authority, all these re related government uh, agencies uh, have uh, provided their specific support or arrangements uh, to make uh, to make it uh, convenient for students. For example, the tra uh, the, the traffic uh, or other or healthcare other supports to yeah, make sure that uh, there's a record number of students taking the Gaokao this year. Do you think there's more competition now since the pandemic prevented a lot of the students from going to college overseas? What does the acceptance landscape look like at universities across China right now? Well, it is essentially a competitive examination and uh, uh, the competition for the uh, position in the university, especially for those in the prestigious universities. Uh, and uh, the stake is quite high for students. But I don't think it's more competitive than before because uh, the uh, number of students has taken into account of the students uh, from vocational education schools because according to the government's policy, the uh, graduates from the vocational high schools are also eligible to sit in the college entrance examination, although they have, uh, uh, they could also sit in for the separate uh, 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 tertiary, uh, uh, vocational tertiary education uh, uh, examination uh, for themselves. Uh, and also uh, this year, uh, I think uh, uh, we'll see a record high number of students who will go abroad uh, for tertiary education study uh, because of the, um, uh, end of the COVID-19 restrictions. And uh, also they, in China, uh, they, there is uh, more and more pathways uh, to get into the college and universities instead of this uh, written examination. Uh, and uh, for example, there is the uh, choice of the adult education and uh, uh, that means they can still uh, get the higher education opportunities uh, uh, by part-time study once they have got into the labor market. And also oh. there is the National Open University, and also there is the self-taught higher education examination, et cetera. So many, many different options. Um, we wish right. all the students, the millions of students taking the Gao Cao, good luck. Yan Wang, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you joining us from Beijing.